Okay, uh, now remember, in order to write a good essay, you should have good working vocabulary. Working vocabulary means it's not that you are repeating same words again and again because you don't have uh, a good uh, storage of words with you. So, and you should also know how to say one thing in two, three different ways or in five different ways. Now, for example, if it is water, this valuable resource uh, or whatever, if it is fuel, for fuel, you can use the word fuel, petrol, combustion gas. gas, combustion gas and all that, right? So, so there should be a variety so that you are not repeating or you are not moving around the same words. That you have a vocabulary of 300 words and you are using it again and again and again and again. So, there should be a good range of words and you should be able to rephrase. Rephrasing is very important. Rephrasing means you are saying the same thing using the different words. Right? That's what you guys need to do. So, vocabulary, you need to show that you have a range of vocabulary related to the topic. It should be related to the topic and that you can use these words appropriately and accurately. Appropriately and accurately means grammatically you can use the words correctly in your answer. How can I improve my vocabulary range? You have to know enough words to be accurate and avoid repetition. You should avoid repetition. I told you this. You can improve your vocabulary related to different topics by reading newspaper and magazine articles and noting some of the topic vocabulary. And I would suggest if you're doing IELTS reading, from IELTS reading even you can underline new words and you can learn those words that will also improve your vocabulary okay now let's turn to uh, number two next page please complete these paragraphs for task C using the highlighted words or phrases in the extract most people would agree that traffic problems are increasing worldwide in many large cities, it is hard to drive freely because traffic jams are so common. As a result, air pollution, now the word air pollution, that is vocabulary. As a result, air pollution is now a serious problem in cities because so much diesel or you can use word fuel or petrol. In the blank, you can use the word diesel, petrol, fuel, gas, like that, is being used. And the issue of climate change, we'll put the word climate. Now, climate change is a vocabulary word. And you see, it's a simple vocabulary. Anybody knows about that. And the issue of climate change has been directly linked to the human need for fast methods of transport see we are looking for the fast methods of transport bullet trains and jets jets like that why has this happened now he says initially that was the first paragraph next initially cars were a, pra a, a practical way of getting from a to b they were not built to travel at high speeds and dual carriageways were unknown. Now we got the dual carriageways, right? They were unknown. If their journeys, now journey is a vocabulary word and I think everybody is familiar with that, right? If their journeys were relatively short, people often choose to walk rather than drive. At this time, governments responded to complaints about traffic congestion traffic by building new roads by building new roads unaware of the impact are you familiar with this word yeah impact very simple impact this might have on the environment next paragraph Nowadays, cars have become symbols of personal status or status. Cars have become symbols of personal status. Symbols of personal status. Everyone wants one and it's hard to stop this 
because of their comfort comfort got it yes. it's hard to stop because of their comfort and convenience unfortunately we have become used to our car dependent lifestyles you will write four words there car dependent lifestyles wherever you want to go you take out the car okay so that is what we call car dependent lifestyle sometimes uh, in a funny way people say that even if you want to go to the washroom you will go in the car right so car depend and that is true for some people with the motorbikes everywhere they take the motorbikes yeah car dependent lifestyles got it now this is the range of vocab now remember one thing with every topic there is a different set of vocabulary words here the words like air pollution climate change diesel transport and all that and you might have noticed one thing there isn't a word or there is hardly a word you know you don't know you know all the words okay he said you know so there is hardly a word you don't know otherwise you know that so whatever the topic is you should have the relevant vocabulary and this is again simple can you write something like this yes, you should try now again I tell you it's not the vocabulary it's how to play with the words how to put the words in this sequence so that it looks like a good if you're going to write an essay like this you'll get a very good bench score yeah 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 how to use the words cleverly like the journalists are doing okay let's do one more exercise how can I improve my accuracy accuracy means grammatically your essay should be correct for that it's very good for you all to repeat the tenses to learn all the model verbs to learn all the helping verbs like the use of is am are was were have has had can could should must may might you should learn it easily yeah, and you can do it there are many videos on YouTube you can watch any video I tell you one is model verbs second is auxiliary verbs or helping verbs you need to learn model verbs you need to learn helping verbs and you need to learn tenses that's it if you learn these three things automatic and then there are some phrases which I'm teaching you so they can help you so you need to pay attention to how you choose form and spell words spelling is also important cat should be spelled with c-a-t cat not k-a-t cat okay you will lose marks if you make mistakes in these areas complete the gaps in these paragraphs now we do another activity you need to complete the gaps in these paragraphs with the correct form of the words words are given and will put the correct form please listen carefully and you can do it on your own handouts Beijing is a very crowded city and traffic jams are common now special is given what form of special will you use here especially right especially so in a you will write especially <clears throat> got it especially at peak travel times between six and seven in the evening dash no now drive drivers drivers no because no is a verb so if we write driver then it should be nose drivers no drivers know that the traffic will be bad and that they will have to expect delays plural form if you write delay that is wrong Sir, delay. If, we, if we use delaying that's wrong even to expect delays delays is the right one on their journey everyone has got used to this although no one likes waste time now what form will you use no one likes wasting, wasting. wasting. that's right so this is what we call accuracy so no one likes wasting time stuck in traffic got it now these type of mistakes you are actually doing that's why I'm telling you all that that you should not have these type of mistakes in the past there were far few the form of few far fewer cars you will write fewer it's the comparative degree in the past there were far fewer cars in Beijing because they were too expensive to buy but nowadays an increase number now what will you write what form 
increasing that's right an increasing number it can be the adjective as well an increasing number of citizens can afford one because the car manufacture manufacturing industry manufacturing that's right so if you just take care of these type of mistakes your essay is going to be mistake free because the car manufacturing industry in China is booming in addition to this petrol is relatively dash now what is the opposite of expensive cheap or if you want to convert expensive into cheap what will we do inexpensive expensive means costly and inexpensive means cheap low price yeah but we got to convert the same word so that's why inexpensive petrol is relatively inexpensive compared to the prices charge now what form of the verb will you use charge in many other countries charged that's right charged in many other countries got it so you got to read this paragraph and then you got to end these are the common mistakes the students are doing if you overcome these common mistakes it's going to be fantastic right